Hello friends, I Dhairya Bhatia welcome you to my YouTube channel Maths DNA from origin to infinity. In this video, we are going to discuss a question of differentiable function. But before that, let me share something with you. We have introduced a 100 days 100 test exam for CSRNET JRF 2023. Qualify in just one attempt. For this, you can register at our WhatsApp number given above. Moving on to the question. The question is, which of the following functions is or are differentiable at x equals to 0? And the options are a fx is equals to mod x into x, b fx is equals to x square if x is rational and 0 if x is irrational. Option c both a and b and option d neither a nor b. Before we move to the solution, let us first understand what do we mean by a differentiable function. A function fx is said to be differentiable at a point c. See, the function is differentiable at a particular point. Whenever we say the differentiability of a function, it is defined on a particular point. If the first condition f dash c is equals to limit x tends to c, fx minus fc upon x minus c exist. Very important that this should exist. And the second one, limit x tends to c, fx minus fc upon x minus c exist whenever left hand limit that is limit x tends to c minus fx minus fc upon x minus c is equals to the right hand limit limit x tends to c plus fx minus fc upon x minus c. So whenever the limit exists at a particular point, the function is differentiable. Let us move on. The first option A, fx is equals to mod x into x. We have to check the differentiability at point 0. So f dash 0 should be equals to limit x tends to 0, fx minus f0 upon x minus 0. Putting the value of fx that is x into mod x or mod x into x, then f dash 0 is equals to limit x tends to 0, x mod x minus 0 upon x minus 0. x get cancel out and it x equals to 0, mod 0 will be 0. So f dash 0 is equals to 0. Thus the limit exists. So fx that is equals to mod x x is differentiable at x equals to 0. See the function is mod x into x, not just mod x, right? Be very careful. Now moving on to option b. Option b says that function is x square if x is an irrational number and 0 if x is any irrational number. So f dash 0, if x is rational, then it will be limit x tends to 0, x square minus 0 upon x minus 0, x get cancel out from numerator and denominator and at x equals to 0, it will be 0. And if it is irrational, it is already given to us that it will be 0. So 0 minus 0 is, will be again be 0. So at both the points, we get f dash 0 is equals to 0. Thus, the limit exists and so fx is equals to x square if x is irrational and 0 if x is irrational is also differentiable at x equals to 0. So a is also correct, b is also correct and the option c that both a and b are correct is the correct answer. Thank you and you can be a member of our social club and watch 600 plus videos on our YouTube channel and get a compressed study material from our Telegram channel.